In the previous video, we looked at how to set up your database in Moodle 2.0. Now we will look at putting some fields for information into your database so that it can be used. Click on your database on your course page. You do not need to have editing enabled, but it doesn't matter if you do have it on. Each piece of data in your database will require a field. Creating new fields is easy. From the Choose drop-down menu, we will start with a text field. Enter a field name and field description. Click the Add button to add the field. Here you can see the field name, type of data it will hold, the description and buttons to edit or delete the field. Let's add another text field. Click the Add button to finalise the text field step. This time we will use some radio buttons. Radio buttons are mutually exclusive. In this field we will allow entries to be shown as Northern or Southern Hemisphere. Next we will add a field to hold geodata. As before we enter the field name and field description. With a latitude longitude field, we can add a link out service that will hyperlink to a map of the location. We will choose Google Maps. As usual, click the Add button to finish. Let's add one more field, a picture field. We add the field name and description. When viewing images, we can specify the size this can prevent inadvertently large images from displaying far too big and ruining the look of your page. You can set the maximum file size for an image to be uploaded. This can also help stop people accidentally uploading huge digital photographs. Click the Add button to finish. Now you can see all the fields in your database, their titles, data types, descriptions and editing buttons. Let's click on Add Entry to create our first record. Here we will add records for three country capital cities including their hemisphere, location and an image for each. After filling out the details, I will click on Save and Add Another, so that I can just keep adding more. OK, that's our three entries added. Let's click Save and View button. Alright, I have gotten a message saying that the template is not yet defined. So I'm going to go to Templates and I'm going to let it auto-create a template for me in single view. This is the single template. And I'm going to do the same for the list template. It means just visiting the template, scrolling down and clicking Save Template. Now when I go to view my database, I can see my entries in list view, or in single view.